Hi everyone, Patchman 21 back with another lousy unboxing and it's going to be this, which is Launchbox. Okay, uh, this is Launchbox, uh, comes from abroad, from foreign places and I can feel in the bag there's other stuff on top so I haven't unbagged it yet. So this comes in at around about 31 quid and uh, after bank charges rounds up to about 32 and a half quid. You'll see the numbers over there. Uh, hopefully we we'll get value for money. Last month we got a nice pop, a, uh, an Infinity figure, a Star Wars Infinity figure. Um, and then we got some filler, some uh, 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 keychain uh, as a sword and a little bottle opener. And one of their little chips as well. So we'll see what we get this month and hopefully... It'll be awesome. I'm just going to... Right. Weird. Because um, there's a bag in my bag. Let me just check. And that's all of it. So it's come in this Sonic the Hedgehog um, sort of tote bag. Looks like the proper box inside. Uh, there's also a figure on top. I'm... What I'm going to do... So... That figure's there, I haven't had a look at it yet, but this is one for the thumbnail. Um, this is the box, I'm going to open that and I'll get that out, because what I want to do is get a t-shirt. I'm assuming that the bag is part of the the haul as well, which is pretty good. It's a decent quality, looks nice. Uh, but this is what we all came here for, so let's open it and have a look. So that's the official seal, unsealed, and I've said t-shirt. Right, the t-shirt is a medium, and I'm quite glad about that, because it's gun to life. Um, not sure what that's from, but it's a little bit too technicolor for me. Way too many pastels in there. It feels nice, it's a uh, it's branded a Ready Player One, so gun to life must be something to do with Ready Player One, which is all over the shop at the moment. Uh, everybody's uh, getting in on the act for, uh, for Ready Player One. I'm looking forward to seeing it, uh, hopefully next weekend. Right, T-shirt, good quality, but as I say, I don't like that design. It's a bit, yeah, I couldn't get, a, get away with wearing that at all, ever. <laughs> So I won't. And it's the wrong size for me anyway. As I mentioned in one of my comments, if I try and wear a medium, it actually looks like a crop top on me. Excuse me. Right, let's have a look at what else was on top of the box. And it's a figure. It's a Super Mario Brothers 3 figure. And it looks like Super Mario in a teddy bear outfit. And as with these things, I'm not going to get him out. Uh, the box is a bit crushed, uh, so obviously that's uh, either the packaging department at uh, launch box or the mail, probably the mail. Um, that's all right. It's you know it's okay. It's a bit weird. I'm not going to collect them. And as I say, if I was, there's what I would get. But I might um, I might sell that. There's a very good chance actually I'll sell that. Put this here so you can see the uh, the bag as well. There's a cover of that uh, that awful shirt. So there's the bag. The big figure here I really like, and this is Fallout Vault Boy vinyl figure, and it's a Underground Toys exclusive. So it's the black and white Vault Boy from Fallout, which I'm going to get out and have a have a shifty at. Maybe two sets. Come on. Um, you know you want to. There we go. Quite substantial. Got a bit of weight to him. That's really nice. I like that. It's got a one 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 volt on the back. Vault Tech on the base. That's really good. That's going to go straight up. 
let's just put it in line so there you go right and you know why he does that you don't you want me to tell you he does that to see the size of the explosion and the nuclear explosion and if you cover it with your thumb the whole explosion you're far enough away to be safe a little bit daunting if you uh, and if you're not covering it, uh, you're going to die from radiation poisoning, which is just nice, just lovely. Right, there's a uh, another key ring in here, and this is the um, BioWorld uh, Super Nintendo controller, which is actually really nice. There you go. It's cool. I like that. I shall hang that on my board, but happily. And finally, the chip. And this is their uh, player one chip this time. So, uh, so there you go, player one chip. I don't know if these are themed, if they are, I'll bother to find out. Let's have a look at the little thing that comes with it. Yeah, so there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this, and this, and this, and that. There we go, that was, that was player one, main theme, and that was it. Okay. Really like this. The bag's okay, but I've got a lot of these bags. But says it's good quality. It's obviously I say good quality. It's medium quality. You can just see that it's a little bit ropey. But having said that, it looks like it did its job properly. The shirts, good quality. It's in, but a but a crap uh, image on the front, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm happy with this. This is good. The bag's okay. And that's a bit. Meh. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do with that one. I'm going to give this. Um, Six again. I'm not being very generous. I know that, but um, yeah, I'm going to give this a six patchy points out of a possible ten because I quite like that. That's really sort of caught my eye. It's one of my favourite sort of franchises. Right. Anyway, um, tell me what you think in the comments. If you uh, haven't already, subscribe, uh, like, share, all that nonsense. Don't forget the notification bell so you can get warnings about this rubbish coming on. And now that you've seen all of that. See you all of this. It's time for a fact that is patchy. This is patchy facts. And today's patchy fact is that March the 30th is officially Bring Your Pillow to Work Day. It's awesome. Anyway, I've been Patchman21. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.